Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. Now we have six weeks left until Christmas, so I have prepared another video for you tonight to show you how to make this really cute gift card, or it could just be a little greeting card, or you could punch a hole in it and hang it from your Christmas tree. And he opens up like that for you to put a greeting inside. I'm going to show you how to make this cute little penguin by using some of our fabulous Stampin' Up! punches. This is what you need to gather together. To make the card, you need a two and an eighth by four and a half inch real red piece of cardstock. For the inside of the card, you need a two inch by one and three quarter inch square shape for there. And then I always keep my scrap cardstock after I've done other projects. So gather together some Tangerine Tango, Whisper White, and Basic Black. It would help if you had a bone folder. And then to make the scarf on the penguin, you're going to use the red gingham rib ribbon. And then in addition, you need the large oval punch, the small oval punch, one and three eighths inch circle, the one inch circle, double circle, and three flower punch. All right, and I will show you how to make this little guy. Let's start off by making his body. First thing you want to do is use the The large one and three eighths inch circle punch, and that's for the circular part of his body. You want a one inch black circle for his head, and then you want two small ovals for his arms. Okay, so we have the circle, the two arms, and then we want to use the large oval for his body. Okay, and here's how we put them together. And here, the large white oval to the black circle, and then take the one inch black circle and adhere it on top like that. So we've got that. And then we're gonna put his arms on. You're gonna just use a touch of adhesive. And then penguins usually keep their arms fairly close to their sides. So we put one arm there. And then the other arm will go like that. They don't have to be perfect like that. And then we're going to um, use the Tangerine Tango and punch all three flowers. Two of them are going to be for his feet. So just put a touch of adhesive on. One foot like that. Touch of adhesive on there. second foot like that and then grab your paper snips and cut in one of the flower petals on the third flower and that will make his little nose or his beak I guess and Using your two-way glue pen and fingernails, put his beak on like that. And then to do his eyes, take your scrap Whisper White and you're going to do two little circles using your double circle punch and figure out where you want his eyes to be and I put the glue on and then try and manipulate and press down the circle on the eye like that. Alright, so then the next thing we need to do is give him his little 
scarf. And I usually measure like that. And then tie it in a knot. down around his neck like that and then we can trim off that side and trim off that side so that he's wearing a little scarf like that. And then to complete the card, take your bone folder and fold the card in half like that and then use some adhesive to adhere the greeting inside, like that, there we go. And then you can either use some dimensionals, whoops, you can use some dimensionals to adhere him on to make him stand off a little bit of the card, or I will just use some adhesive like that. And there you go. Cute little card, a penguin card that you can attach to a gift, use as a little greeting card, or you could punch a hole in the corner and attach it with some cording around the tree. For other really neat and fun card, scrapbook, and 3D project ideas, check out my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. That's N-U-T-Z about stamping.com. Bye for now.